Hey, you, you with a superpower. Have you ever sketched out where you've come from and uh, what impacted your superpower? I didn't either. So um, come follow with me as, as, as I do mine. Let's start with my dad and mom. So when I was a kid, actually, I think when I was pregnant, when mom was pregnant with me, they left the Amish and became Mennonite. And um, so dad and mom were Amish. That is a bonnet. Oh, fun story about, about mom. My mom's name is Lydia. So my sister wrote a book called Lydia's Bonnet, which is a story about mom wanting a new bonnet. And um, so she crushed it. So her mom would have to buy her a new bonnet. And so my sister Lil wrote that book. It's a great story. Um, Amish, and then we became Mennonite. And um, I got married young, had four kids. Uh, since been divorced, I'm a single dad. And um, went to a non-denominational church, kind of like my generation did. So my dad, um, his, his, oh wait, my dad, so he was a farmer and a butcher. And um, when I was about 12, um, since they left the Amish, the butchering business had a hard time succeeding because they didn't want to buy from dad, having left the Amish. And so he ended up selling the farm, bought another farm in um, Dolphin County, close to Hershey. And he became a real estate developer, which is probably where he made the most money. And that's how I got into real estate, to be honest. I think Letha Meyer actually helped list some of his lots up there. Letha, if you're listening to this, that might be a fun fact for you. And um, my dad, so his dad, my grandpa, was also a farmer and a butcher because you know dad took over the home farm. And my grandpa, he had a steam engine. And I never saw that, but so I just know this from stories. I don't know how accurate this is. Um, but from my memory, he made a business out of it. So he was kind of an entrepreneur and he helped other farmers with his steam engine. And um, so my grandpa was, I would say he's quiet and strong as an ox. In fact, so much that the stories are that he was so strong that he could pick up either the back end of a steam engine, which I don't think that's true, um, I think it was probably the thresher that the steam engine was connected to, but he was either way, he was super strong. My boys definitely have that trait. And then on, on, um, my mom's side, so grandpa Fisher, grandpa Fisher had a greenhouse and my memories of him was his greenhouse and his automation. He had like roller tracks to help, uh, flats come down to this place. Um, but the thing that left an impression was when I helped him mix dirt. So we got soil and added probably vermiculite or some amendments to help the soil. And we just built it to a place and he said, smell it, put it in your hand and smell it. So I could feel and smell and I developed um, like an intuition of what good dirt smells like, which I use later in my lawn care company. And so my grandpa, oh my God, he was a storyteller. He was such a good storyteller, very animated and passionate. And he loved to entertain guests. To the point where grandma was, was afraid that when grandpa would pass, which he passed in, I don't know, about 72, that no one would show up. No one would show up to um, see her. And speaking of grandma, her name was Annie. So mommy Fisher was Annie. And also my dad's mom's name was Annie. To the point where I thought a grandma was an Annie. And it was weird though, because then there was someone else called Annie that wasn't a grandma. So that kind of blew that theory. Um, but both grandma's names were Annie, and they had the best Christmases ever. Also, grandma, she um, she was good with plants, um, especially, I can't even think of the plant now, but it's in a pot, and it's green, it hangs, and had ferns. She would just talk to her ferns, and they grew. And that frustrated the heck out of the rest of the family. So she must have had an intuitive sense with plants. So to recap, my, um, you know, my, my dad and mom, were Amish until they weren't, but they still try to act like they're Amish, especially mom, so cute. And then um, my grandpa, Stolzus, was very quiet, super strong physically. And my grandpa Fisher was a story storyteller and loved to entertain guests. Oh yeah, actually with the greenhouse, so grandpa Fisher also had a steam engine. Oh, I almost forgot about that. He had a steam engine and he subcontracted to other greenhouses and help them uh, basically kill the, the germs in the soil and the weeds so they could put, um, when well, grandpa's case, they had tobacco plants. And in grandpa Fisher's case, they were starting um, 
pansies and other small plants. So my grandpa Fisher, his name was Seth. My brother's name is also Seth, of course. And then my grandpa Stoltz, his name is Paul. My dad's name is Daniel. So my world shows up and what do you think my name is? Well, it's Paul, Daniel, Stolzes. And my first memory or memory from pictures, I don't know, is, is me out in the meadow and there was this big steer, huge steer. This is not a, this is not a, um, a sheep, this is a steer. And little Polly, that was my name, Polly, little guy, I was like feeding the steer grass and I was not afraid at all. I mean, this guy has got to be like, I don't know, 10 or 20 X my size. And I was not afraid at all. The other thing that I remember is dad in the farm, when he had bulls and he had to lead the bulls where he wanted them, he just figured out the pain point, which is a ring through the nose, and he could lead that beast to wherever he wanted to go. And that fingerprints inside of me as well. And so what's Paul's superpower? And as I look, look up, to find your superpower, kind of highlight the things that showed up in your world. And so, you know, it's definitely a storyteller, just like I'm doing here. Uh, I can be super quiet sometimes, actually. I don't really, I'm not as animated as my grandpa. I'm probably more quiet. Um, I love to entertain guests. Um, I have an intuition with dirt and just, I can just talk to things and they grow. I don't know, people don't know what happens, but when they're in a consulting meeting with me, they just feel like they're going to grow. I don't know what I did either. So I think there's a sense of intuition that shows up in my world. And also curiosity. Like I ask so many questions. Um, and then also I have a work ethic, like consistent, persistent is pretty much, if you look that up in the dictionary, you'll see Paul there. Um, I'm a slow burner. My brother can outwork me in the morning, but by the end of the day, I've caught up and passed him. I kind of win from back of the pack. And then I also look for limits. Like how far can we push this thing? Because what I really want to do is dissolve the limits. So that's kind of my superpower right there. It would put me in a superpower, right? And so three things show up. Um, there's this business, business mind, um, storytelling. And I um, grow growers. Like I create programs to grow things. And um, just like my dad was in a butcher shop, he probably disassembled things, like had an amazing things and created value by disassembling them. Well, I tend to assemble things. So for instance, in Wisegrass, I assembled a program that completely outperformed other lawn care companies. It was more like what they do in golf courses and um, HOAs with unlimited budget. And so I learned everything I could. I was curious and created this program. And my principle was grow the growers. So don't spend time, don't waste too much time getting rid of weeds and all that. Just find the grass that does grow. Find a variety that grows in all soils and then grow that grass. Don't spend time fertilizing like turf type tall or perennial ryegrass that just dies. Find turf type tall fescue that grows. Grow the growers. And so the intersection of that is, so we got the business, storytelling, and grow growers. I think that's where you would put this intuition and curiosity. That's right in the middle of this. Kind of like Curious George hangs out in here because I can't help, but I sense things and then I go read stuff to kind of back up what I've been sensing all along. Does that make sense? So this is fun. This is super fun to kind of look at where you are, what your parents are and grandparents and see what shows up in your world. And you should do this. Wow. This is so much fun. If, you have, if you've never done this, take time to do this. It's so grounding. You probably won't find out anything new, but it uh, will remind you of, of um, who you are, right? And so kind of two things I get from this. One is um, the intuition that my grandpa taught me with knowing what dirt smells good helped me in my lawn care company. So when I could smell the dirt and it smelled like grandpa's dirt, that was good dirt. Also, when assembling um, programs for coaching, I can just tell when it smells right. It's going to help growers grow. And, um, oh, yeah, this this beast that I'm feeding it hay in the meadow. It's like a little guy was not scared of something 10, 20 X his size. And, um, you know, my grand, my dad telling me that if you know where to put the ring in the bull's nose, you can lead the beast wherever you need it to go. So this is my ask. Do this project. And, you know, DM me and, and I'll get your contact information. Send me your sheet. 
or just comment in here what comes up for you when you do this sheet. Like, what's your superpower?